How are all my YouTube friends? In today's video, I bring you a new tool with the new update of Itemflow 1.06 by Lightning Mods. But first I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel so that you are informed about everything that is happening in the PS4 and PS5 scene. As I told you before, this new tool for now is an experiment, as its creator Lightning Mods calls it, experimental FG slash VAP feature. And you may wonder, but what is it for? Well I tell you that if you make a backup of your original game you can install it without having to convert it to PKG format. I show you how to do it right now. First look for a USB and format it to XFAT. Following this easy step first if it is a game or three games for example, you will have to create a folder with the name game1. Inside that folder we will paste the game. Now if you're going to put another game, you will have to create another folder with the name game2 and inside the folder you will paste the game and so on. Let's go to the PS4 and plug the USB. Now we will wait for the golden to activate. Now we proceed to install Items Flow 1.06 by Lightning Mods. Once you have items flow installed, we open it. We wait about 20 seconds. Here we click no.
As you will see, some notifications appear that a USB is detected. Navigate to Experimental FG and press X to open it. Underneath, you will see a menu that shows you how to navigate within the app. Click where it says Change App Path. On this screen click on R1 and scroll down where it says Game 1 and then click on X. and I click on the game with X and then press square. A notification will appear game DR changed successfully. Click launch and we wait for the game to start. There it's very easy. The game doesn't actually install on your console. What this tool allows you to do is launch the game from a USB without having to install the game on your console. And that way it is the same process for more games that you want to launch from a USB. And if you are wondering what happens if you remove the USB from the PS4, this is what happens, the game cannot be run. And when you put the USB back in the PS4, you will be able to launch the games again without problem from the PS4 main menu.
Well that's it for today's video. I hope you like it. And don't forget to support my channel by subscribing and activate the bell so that you receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Remember to share, thank you and see you in the next video.